We as conservatives have been talking for 25 years about the failure of big government conservatism. I will propose to you that our movement is being splintered by big government and big tent conservatism. In 1989, one wag said after the fall of the Soviet Empire that communism was the glue that held the conservative movement together. I think that was true, because since communism's fall, so too has our movement suffered. The three arms, the three stools of conservatism are what Dave pointed out, fiscal conservatives, free foreign policy, national defense conservatives, and social conservatives, traditionalists. But what do conservatives look at today? Look at people who call themselves fiscal conservatives in Washington, D.C. What are these fiscal conservatives doing right now? They're telling us that there's nothing to be done about a $17 trillion national debt. They're telling us that they can't cut $1 out of a $4 trillion budget. They're telling us that they can't cut a single wasteful program in Washington, D.C. These so-called fiscal conservatives are telling us they can't defund Obamacare. Fiscal conservatives are telling us they can never consider a tax cut. Fiscal conservatives are telling us there's nothing to be done about the IRS scandals and the NSA scandals, which is the corruption of the federal government when it's that large. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the reality. Those quote-unquote fiscal conservatives don't want to do that. They don't want to cut the debt. They don't want to cut well, anything from $4 trillion spending. They don't want to stop the regulatory stampede. They believe that you can balance the budget in 18 years, but don't want to do it any faster than that. They don't want to defund Obamacare, and do not kid yourselves about that one. They don't want tax cuts. They don't want to do anything about runaway government. So why, 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 why should fiscal conservatives, true fiscal conservatives, look at them as leaders? Look at foreign policy. What must foreign policy conservatives believe in? What do they believe in? People who believe in a strong national defense believe in three things. Historically, we believe that our strength should be second to none in the world. We believe unapologetically that we are the leaders of the free world. And we believe that we should involve ourselves in world affairs only when American interests are at stake. Now, foreign policy conservatives will recognize that there was some bloated cutting that needed to be done out of our defense budget. But those foreign policy national defense conservatives are saying to the conservative movement, where were you in 2011 when we had sequester cuts and 50% of the sequester cuts were applied to the U.S. military. And they're saying to conservatives today, where are you right now when Barack Obama has just announced he wants to cut the military to 1940 level? Our enemies are running rampant all over the globe. And this administration wants to take us back there. And foreign policy conservatives are saying, where's the movement? Where is the movement supporting us? Finally, the traditionalists. They believe, quite simply, one nation under God. Now, traditionalists understand that there is a difference of opinion at that time. They understand that there are people who may have personal issues with this. This has always been the case with the conservative movement. Remember what Ronald Reagan said about the John Birch Society. He said, I didn't endorse them, they endorsed me. And that was our position on these issues. The conservative movement never has said that gays couldn't participate in the conservative movement. What it said was the conservative movement is not going to embrace gay rights. The conservative movement never said that people who call themselves pro-choice could not participate in the conservative movement, but we did say we're pro-life. Conservatives never said that if you didn't believe in God, you couldn't participate in the conservative movement, but we said our movement did, unapologetically. And what's happening now? Ladies and gentlemen, those three branches are fracturing right before our very eyes. If you don't believe me, just consider these truths. 
Fiscal conservatives are leaving our movement by the droves. They're calling themselves libertarians. And many of them do not want to ever be called conservatives again. Those libertarians are now fielding candidates against conservatives. In fact, could well have cost Virginia a conservative seat in the governor's race. These libertarians don't come to CPAC anymore. They have their own gathering in Las Vegas, Freedom Fest, which I might add is much larger than CPAC today. Foreign policy conservatives, what are they doing? I checked, if I have it wrong, correct me, but I think there's only one foreign policy organization sponsoring CPAC this year. The rest have left. The rest feel they don't have a home in the conservative movement. They are doing things their way. Social conservatives, they're leaving by droves. They too are leaving. How are they leaving? They're not participating in the political process. It is why, it's the main reason why Mitt Romney didn't win the presidency. Believe it or not, it's why, a great reason why Ken Cuccinelli, who is a social conservative, didn't win the governorship. They didn't turn out the vote. They have their own meeting now, down the road, the Value Voters Summit, as big as CPAC today. If you look at it in this totality, ladies and gentlemen, this cannot be allowed to continue. We cannot go in three different directions while the hard left goes in one, with all of their arms allied. We have to make certain decisions if it is we want to turn matters around. I am going to propose certain things. Number one, we reject completely the idea of big tent conservatism. We reject anything that gets in the way of returning to first principles. We say that only men of principles will be supported and only organizations that are principled will be supported. We say that we're going to expel from our ranks the professional consultants who are making a mockery of our movement, who are using our movement to line their pockets and advance the causes of their clients. We say that we will support only, only conservative candidates for office from here on out. And we will support only conservative organizations advancing those conservative causes. Ladies and gentlemen, what I propose is that the conservative movement return to first principles. If we return to first principles, we will be stronger than ever before. And I ask you to consider this. If communism was the glue that kept the conservative movement together before, the glue that should keep our movement together and take us forward is our very survival. Thank you.